Hey, welcome to a new video. China's a country with a history of thousands of years, a rich culture, and ancient traditions. The ongoing archaeological discoveries have amazed people around the world for centuries. Some of these findings are quite terrifying. Today we'll show you the 20 scariest things that have been found in China. Are you new to this channel? Make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell. And before we start, also like the video. Number 20. Long ago, deep in the ancient forests of China, there lived a small bird that would perfectly fit in the era of dinosaurs. This bird had a remarkable feature, a skull that eerily resembled that of the T-Rex. This ancient bird, called Ocalodentivus congre, was about the size of a bee hummingbird and lived approximately 120 million years ago, during the Mesozoic era. Its incredibly small size allowed it to navigate through the dense forests and evade much larger predators. However, its T-Rex-like skull gives us a glimpse into the world that would be uninhabitable for any creature. While the idea of giant dinosaurs roaming the Earth may seem exciting, it would not have been livable for humans. The discovery of this ancient bird is significant because it challenges our understanding of the evolution of the bird species. The T-Rex-like skull of this bird has further fueled the debate on the connection between birds and dinosaurs, as some experts believe that the small skull of the bird validates the theory that birds are descended from dinosaurs. Number 19. There are many ghost towns on Earth, but one that takes the crown is Fengmen Village, located in Quinyang City in Henan Province. The stories surrounding the area are terrifying, and entering the village is enough to make even the bravest individuals tremble in fear. Fengmen Village has been abandoned for over 50 years. According to local legend, the village has been cursed for over a century, and anyone who enters it risks being possessed by the spirits. The village was once home to a prosperous community, but its residents vanished overnight, leaving behind only their belongings. Despite all the warnings, a team of researchers decided to explore the place. However, this turned out to be a mistake, as the nights were filled with unexplained sounds and supernatural apparitions. Some of the researchers were never the same after this incident, and they left with stories of things that they couldn't explain. People living close to the village have even reported being touched by invisible hands. Number 18. China harbors a rather peculiar and fascinating phenomenon called the Egg-Laying Mountain, better known as Mount Gandang. This geological wonder, located in the eastern province of Shandong, is said to lay stone eggs once every 30 years. The stories surrounding the mountain are highly intriguing, with many references to local myths and legends to explain the peculiar phenomenon. According to Chinese legend, the mountain originated from a dragon laying an egg, which hatched and formed the current Mount Gandang. Scientists have attempted to explain the phenomenon, but it remains a mystery to this day. Some believe that the mountain is composed of sedimentary rock, which periodically erodes, exposing spherical stones beneath the surface. The fact that the eggs only appear once every 30 years also remains an enigma. Mount Gandang is over 600 million years old, making it one of the oldest mountains in China. According to legend, the mountain's stone eggs possess magical powers, bringing luck and protection against evil spirits. Would you dare take a stone egg home? Number 17. The Longmen Caves are located 12 kilometers south of Luoyang in Henan Province. One of the most well-known myths about the caves is that a monk had a dream in which he was told to carve the cliffside in order to prevent future floods. These breathtaking caves form an impressive complex of Buddhist rock temples, dating from 493 to 907. Each one is executed with remarkable craftsmanship and detail, giving them significant religious significance. The largest statue in the cave is over 17 meters tall and weighs more than a thousand tons. It's known as the Virokana Buddha statue. The caves only gained widespread recognition and study at the beginning of the 20th century when the site was acknowledged as an archaeological treasure trove. It's also suggested that there are still many hidden chambers and treasures to be discovered. Number 16. It's said that Kunlun Mountain is a sacred place where gods and goddesses reside. According to Chinese mythology, it served as a bridge between heaven and earth. The Kunlun Mountain stretches over 3,000 kilometers in Central Asia. It possesses diverse and unique geological features, ranging from glaciers to basalt columns. The mountain is believed to have formed over 250 million years ago, and in ancient times, it was thought to be a home of terrifying beasts and mysterious beings. According to a popular legend, the goddess Nuwa melted the pillar that supported the sky, causing it to tilt and separate heaven and earth. 
Since then, the Kunlun Mountain has been regarded as the gateway to the underworld. Some people believe that the mountains contain a secret network of tunnels, connecting them to ancient sites around the world. However, accessing it is not easy. The mountains are heavily guarded due to their strategic location boarding Afghanistan, India, Pakistan, and Tajikistan. Others, however, believe that there is a more sinister reason why people are not allowed to explore the area. Could there be something hidden in the caves that the government doesn't want us to see? What do you think? Number 15. The idea of a specific house in Beijing where people claimed it was haunted in the 1970s can send shivers down anybody's spine. Chennai No. 81 is a mysterious abandoned mansion located in one of the busiest areas of Beijing. The house was built in the 18th century, but has been shrouded in mystery and rumors for decades. In fact, it was abandoned in the 1940s due to the extent of the rumors surrounding its haunted nature. There have been many incidents over the years that confirm the rumors of the house's spooky character. In the 1970s, several soldiers claimed to have seen ghosts in the building at night and refused to enter it after sundown. The history of the mansion is at best unclear. Some believe it was originally built as a temple before converted into a residence. Others claim it was built by a wealthy merchant and used as a gambling den. The mansion has changed ownership over the years, leading to the belief that the spirits of past occupants still roam within it. Another eerie fact is that it was once used as a military hospital during World War II. However, the Chinese government has refused to disclose any info about the building or its history. Number 14. The mysterious masks of Shang Zhuang Di are extraordinary artifacts that have emerged from the ancient ruins of Shang Zhuang Di civilization. Located in Sichuan province, the lost civilizations presented many enigmas that have captivated the imagination of researchers. The masks date back to the Shu Kingdom of ancient China, making them over 3,000 years old. They are crafted from bronze, wood, or jade and exhibit realistic facial expressions. What makes these masks so mysterious is their unknown origin and meaning. The Shangxuan Di civilization remained unknown to historians for a long time until the archaeological site was discovered in the 1980s. It's still a puzzle as to who created these masks and for what purpose they were used. Some theories suggest that they might have been used for religious ceremonies, rituals, or as symbols of power and status. Scientists have even proposed that the Shu may have been an entirely different ethnic group. Number 13. Although dinosaurs truly existed, they still hold the same fascination as dragons and mythical creatures. A creature as large as a building hunting in packs naturally sounds quite terrifying. But luckily, humanity doesn't have to coexist with them. However, various scientists are attempting to bring dinosaurs back to life. A discovery of dinosaur eggs or embryos in Jiangxi sent chills down many people's spines. The dinosaur eggs are believed to come from the Jurassic period, approximately 145 to 200 million years ago. Further examination revealed that the dinosaur embryo was found inside an exceptionally well-preserved egg. It's believed to belong to a species of Hadrosaurus, a gigantic plant-eating dinosaur with a duck bill that roamed the Earth over 66 million years ago. The discovery is not only incredibly rare, but also the best-preserved dinosaur embryo ever found. China is a rich source of fossilized dinosaur eggs, with over 200 sites scattered throughout the country. A remarkable discovery was made in 2021, when a team of researchers found a cluster of fossilized dinosaur eggs in Guangzhou, China. The eggs were presumed to be from a species of Avaropterosaur, a group of feathered dinosaurs known for their distinctive beaks and elaborate crests. In 2015, in southern China, another fossil of a dinosaur embryo was found. It belonged to a type of theropod, a group of carnivorous dinosaurs that also include the Tyrannosaurus rex. Number 12. The discovery of 113 ancient tombs is enough to rouse archaeologists from their deep slumber. These tombs were found in Hangui, China, in Hebei province. They date back to the Eastern Han Dynasty, which lasted from 25 to 220 CE. The tombs are believed to have belonged to ordinary citizens, as they were simple in design and lacked intricate decorations or carvings. An interesting fact about the discovery is that each tomb contained a ceramic pot, likely used for food or as offerings for the deceased. Alongside the pots, many of the tombs contain pottery, bronze mirrors, and coins. Another intriguing aspect of the discovery is the location of the tombs. They were found in an area known as the Jizong Depression, which has unique geological features. While the number 113 may not hold specific significance within the context of the tombs themselves, the discovery of a large number of tombs in one location could be significant for archaeologists. What do you think might have happened? 
Number 11. Several researchers claim to have found the skull of a new human species that could potentially be our closest relative ever discovered. This finding has the potential to change our understanding of human evolution. The skull, referred to as Dragon Man, was found in the city of Harbin in China and is over 146,000 years old. The discovery may bridge the gap between modern humans and our ancient ancestors, offering new insights into the evolution of the Homo sapien genus. According to researchers, Dragon Man exhibits a unique combination of anatomical features, including a flat and wide face and square eye sockets, resembling those of early humans. This finding can help answer certain questions about human evolution, as our fossil record from the period between 400,000 and 40,000 years ago is limited. For comparison, the well-known Neanderthals only date back to approximately 400,000 years ago. Some interesting facts about Dragon Man are that the skull is the largest and most complete Homo sapien skull ever found. The brain size of Dragon Man is estimated to be larger than that of the modern humans, indicating advanced cognitive abilities. Number 10. A cockroach farm may sound like a strange concept, but in some places, including China, it's a thriving industry that has existed for decades. In China, cockroach breeding began in the 1980s as a means to process food waste. The idea was to use cockroaches as natural and efficient ways to break down organic waste. These farms house billions of cockroaches, which are fed leftover food and scraps from local restaurants and food processing companies. Interestingly, cockroaches themselves are also a valuable commodity in China. Some farmers sell them to pharmaceutical companies, which use them to make traditional Chinese medicines, believed to treat ailments such as ulcers and respiratory problems. Additionally, their shells can be processed into protein powder for animal feed, or even converted into cosmetics. While the concept of a cockroach farm may seem unappealing to some, proponents argue that it's a more sustainable and environmentally friendly approach. However, concerns have been raised about the conditions in which the cockroaches are kept, as well as the risk of disease transmission. Number 9. You probably heard of the curse of the pharaohs and the mummies, but have you heard about the curse that emerged with the discovery of Terracotta Army? Emperor Qin Shi Huang, known for his paranoia, wanted those who disturbed his rest to suffer. Since farmers unearthed them in 1974, approximately 8,000 terracotta soldiers have been excavated, each with their own unique facial features. It's believed that Emperor Qin Shi Huang had them made to protect him in his afterlife, a testament to his paranoia and desire for immortality. While the discovery of the Terracotta Army was celebrated as a significant archaeological achievement, rumors of a curse associated with the site also surfaced. According to legend, seven farmers involved in the discovery of the army all experienced terrible misfortunes. Two died shortly after the discovery, while the remaining five were left in poverty and poor health. Some have attributed these hardships to the spirit of Emperor Quan Shi Huang, who may have been disturbed by the discovery of his army. Do you believe that this place is cursed? Let me know in the comments. Number 8. Nowadays, thanks to modern technology, we have many resources to detect earthquakes, from GPS to satellite imaging. However, more and more often, technologies from history are being discovered that surprise us today. What if we told you that ancient civilizations had eerie ways of predicting if an earthquake was imminent? While there were limited methods available at the time to predict earthquakes, Zhang Heng's device was a significant achievement and still considered a masterpiece of engineering to this day. The ancient Chinese seismometer invented 2,000 years ago is an incredible testament to the ingenuity of early scientists. The device was shaped like a bronze barrel, adorned with intricate engravings and inscriptions, but the inner workings of the seismometer were not visible. This ancient seismometer was designed to detect earthquakes through a complex system that could detect the slightest vibrations. Interestingly, during Zhang Heng's lifetime, the seismometer never predicted earthquakes, but it was able to detect small tremors occurring up to 800 kilometers away. Number 7. So far, we've mostly talked about history and discoveries. But how about something that might be a hundred times more terrifying and disturbingly recent? Marriage and having children are natural and essential parts of human life. But when the Chinese government started monitoring the breeding suitability of millions of women in the country, it caused worldwide concern and outrage. According to reports, a database of 18 million women in China contained information about their marital status, age, education, and whether they were breeding ready. A term that many found both offensive and intrusive. 
The origin of the database is unclear, with some sources suggesting that it might have been created as a means to track population growth. Others suggest that it was intended to facilitate matchmaking. Regardless of the original purpose, the existence of such a database rightfully raised concerns about privacy and government control in China. Number 6 In Sangshuindui, archaeologists discovered complex bronze objects and sacrificial pits with ancient treasures. However, the origin and legend surrounding Sangshuindui remain shrouded in mystery, and scientists are still trying to reconstruct the true story behind the site. According to some sources, the people of Sangshuindui were part of the Su Kingdom. This kingdom was ruled by a series of legendary kings, and some believe that the artifacts found in Sangshuindui were part of their extravagant funeral rituals. Despite their ancient origins, the artifacts are remarkable in their level of detail and craftsmanship. From intricate bronze masks to elaborate golden ornaments, each piece is a testament to the skill and creativity of the people who made them. It's clear that the people of Shangshuindui were deeply connected to their beliefs and traditions, and their art served as a way to connect with the divine. Number 5 Amidst the traditional temples that surround it, the dragon escalator appears as an oddity, but it's a feat of modern design that offers a unique experience. The dragon escalator in Beijing is a marvel of architectural engineering. This escalator is 210 meters long and nearly 7 stories high. The origin of the Dragon Escalator lies in the International Horticulture Expo held in Beijing in 2019 in the Yangqing District. The expo was dedicated to the theme of Live Green, Live Better, and the Dragon Escalator was included to incorporate sustainable design elements and materials during the event. Riding the Dragon Escalator is an experience like no other. The escalator is not just a means of moving between different levels, but instead takes visitors on a journey through a series of stunning landscapes. The Dragon Escalator is also surrounded by an artificial lake, and travelers are treated to views of waterfalls and gardens as they ascend. By the way, it's the world's largest outdoor escalator and has the capacity to transport up to 7,300 people per hour. Number 4 Located in the Changping district of Beijing, the Cave of Fairies is known for the hanging coffins that adorn its walls. These coffins were suspended by the Bo tribe an ancient tribe that once inhabited the area. According to local legends, the cave was built over 3,000 years ago and during the Zhao Dynasty, and they used it as a sacred burial site for their ancestors. Hanging the coffins was believed to be a way to show respect for the deceased and protect them from animals and floods. However, the exact techniques used to hang the coffins remains a mystery. There are over 3,000 cliffs and caves in the Changping district, and many of them contain hidden tombs and artifacts from ancient Chinese civilizations. Despite their historical significance, the hanging coffins of the Cave of Fairies are considered eerie by some people. The sight of the coffins hanging high on the cave walls can be quite unsettling, and footsteps are said to be heard in the cave even when no one is present. Number 3 Deep in the heart of China lies a mummy that has captured the imagination of people all around the world. Known as the Lady of Dai, this ancient corpse is a source of both fascination and unease. The Lady of Dai was discovered in the early 1970s in a tomb in Hunan province. She's believed to have lived during the Han Dynasty, which lasted from 206 BCE to 220 CE, making her over 2,000 years old. The Lady of Dai is known for her remarkably well-preserved body, which has remained largely intact despite over two millennia old. Archaeologists have suggested that she may have been preserved through a careful combination of embalming, dehydration, and the use of specialized burial materials. The tomb in which the Lady of Dai was found contains over a thousand artifacts, including intricate silk clothing and a wide range of funerary objects. To this day, the exact methods that have kept her body so well-preserved remain somewhat of a mystery. The sight of her unchanging features, frozen in time, also remains deeply unsettling, don't you think? Number 2 One of the most intriguing phenomena that have emerged in China in recent years are the so-called ghost cities. These are massive developments of apartments, offices, and public spaces that have been built but are currently largely vacant. The eerie atmosphere of these places have left many people wondering what exactly is going on. One of the most well-known ghost cities in China is Ordos. Located in the northern part of the country, it was designed to accommodate over a million people, but as of 2022, it's estimated to have only 30,000 residents. The city is filled with empty skyscrapers, grandiose squares, and vast highways crisscrossing the landscape. 
Some have likened it to a post-apocalyptic setting. Did you know that many ghost cities in China are replicas of famous international landmarks, such as Paris or Manhattan? Whatever the causes may be, the fact remains that these enormous cities, built for millions of people, are currently empty and abandoned. Number 1. Atlantis was a mythical island, first mentioned in Plato's dialogues, Timus and Cretas. According to legend, Atlantis was completely lost due to catastrophe. But did you know that China has its own lost city? The city is known as Shimeo and is estimated to be over 4,000 years old. It's located in northern China and was only discovered in 1976 when a group of farmers digging a well stumbled upon unusual ancient artifacts. What they've uncovered so far is breathtaking. The city houses a massive pyramid over 70 meters high, as well as numerous pits filled with human skulls, indicating a dark and mysterious past. There's also extensive defensive works, murals, and other artifacts that suggest a once sophisticated and complex society that inhabited the area. As with many lost cities, its history is not entirely clear. Some suggest it was abandoned due to drought or flooding, while others speculate it was a result of warfare. Would you like to visit China? Let us know in the comments. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos we've made, click one on the screen or take a look at the channel. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.